In this video, we're going to solve the equation 3x squared equals 2x minus 7 using a method called completing the square. When we're completing the square, we're trying to set up the equation so that we have something squared equals a number, because that's really easy to solve by taking the square root of both sides. But in order to get there, we have to do a little bit of setup work. And the first part of setting up is to separate the variables from the numbers, putting the variables on one side and everything else on the other side. In this case, we can get the variables all on the left side by subtracting 2x from both sides. That gives us 3x squared minus 2x equals negative 7. The next thing we do in our setup, once the variables and numbers are separated, is we need to get rid of anything in front of x squared. We get rid of that 3 in front of x squared by dividing each and every term by 3. This will give us x squared minus 2 thirds x equals negative 7 thirds. Again, when completing the square, we will never use decimals. Always use fractions. Never use mixed numbers. Always use improper fractions as they come up. Now we're all set up to complete the square, and the way we complete the square is we have to find half of b and square that answer. Well, in this problem b, that middle number is negative 2 thirds, the fraction. This is kind of nice because we can reduce the 2's, and we're just left with negative 1 over 3 squared. Squaring the negative 1 is positive 1, squaring the 3 is 9, and so we end up adding, write it below here, adding 1 ninth to both sides of the equation. As we do that, on the left side, we have x squared minus 2 thirds x plus 1 ninth equals, to add the fractions, we need a common denominator, which we can see is 9, so we'll multiply by 3 over 3, negative 21 ninths plus 1 ninth is negative 20 over 9. The left side, as we've designed it then, is a perfect square. It can factor to something squared equals negative 20 over 9. We can quickly factor it by taking the square root of the first term, x, the sign from the middle, negative, and the square root of the last term, numerator and denominator, gives us 1 third. And when we do that, we now have an equation we can quickly solve. We can get rid of the squared by taking the square root of both sides. Square and square root are gone. We get x minus 1 third on the left equals... On the right side, we take the square root of the numerator and denominator. The denominator is easy. The square root of 9 is 3. In the numerator, don't forget plus or minus. 20, factoring that is 4 times 5, and 4 is 2 times 2. So we can pull a 2 out of the radical. We also have a negative. Recall when we have a negative under a square root, we have an i that comes out, and left inside the radical is simply the 5. So we have x minus 1 third equals plus or minus 2i root 5 over 3. Finally, get the x alone by adding 1 third to both sides. Let me scroll to buy me some space. x equals, we have a common denominator of 3 on both, and in the numerator, 1 plus or minus 2i root 5 for our solution. So we can see when completing the square, sometimes we'll end up with a negative under the radical or a complex number i coming out. That's just fine. Follow the same processes and patterns you've always used to simplify as we solve. And that's completing the square. Separate the numbers from the variables, get rid of that number in front of x squared, and find the number half of b squared to give us a perfect square.